Quantum Realm's crazy looking landscape to the amazing CGI effects bringing it all together on the screen in the new Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, we get to spend a considerable amount of time in the subatomic realm. We see what this bizarre place is all about, plus a variety of unusual inhabitants. Everything was well thought out, and we will look at some of the film's most eye-opening technology. Marvel fans are in for a ride today, because today's video will explain how they have created the universe and the computer graphics that brought this masterpiece to life. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is a thrilling addition to the MCU movie club, bringing more humor, action, and mind-bending cinematography. Although the critics applauded its performances, visual effects, and the musical score, they found that the plot, screenplay, and the tone a bit of a departure from the franchise's past installments. Nevertheless, with a budget of only $200 million, the movie did a business of $476 million at the box office, and the diehard fans still loved it. Released in February, director Peter Reed had the task of putting his heart and soul into making the Quantum Realm, which despite being a key location in the MCU since Phase 2, was only a concept for the fans before this movie, and we never got to see it in detail. According to the director, he and his visionary team drew inspiration from electron microscope photography to create a visually stunning quantum realm. An electron microscope can magnify objects several million times, so you can see things at a subatomic level. By studying the intricate patterns and ethereal beauty of these nanoparticles, they crafted a kaleidoscope of mesmerizing visuals. And next, they went and added a variety of species and inhabitants to this world, which come in every shape, size, and state. This microscopic dimension is a reality where all concepts of space and time lose their traditional meaning. Housed between atoms, this tiny space has a strange universe. You can even come out at a different time from when you went into the realm, and things can exist in multiple places simultaneously. Maybe that's why there are vibrant fauna, flora, and even sentient beings like the jelly-like creatures and the broccoli-headed people down there. The teleportation of information is in fact possible, and scientists and engineers are working on it. In quantum physics, particles that may be light years apart are able to connect and share information instantaneously. This phenomenon is being used to create technology such as secure, hack-proof communications on a worldwide scale. Yes folks, Hollywood tech is indeed becoming real-life tech. One cool film feature is that the quantum realm doesn't have conventional limitations of our world. There isn't a sky or flat horizon here, and the place is illuminated by bursts of energy and matter. It's those storm clouds that radiate the light and the heat. And you know what? It's actually real. What? That's right, folks. How on physics-defying micro-Earth did they film it? Well, an artist called Chris Parks does these amazing effects that are chemical instead of digital. These effects are literally filmed in a petri dish where there's a yellow dye, and they have little droppers of blue dye that they start dropping in there. The team photographed the chemical reactions and the emerging patterns. And at this nanoscale, the visuals are stunningly beautiful when you print them out, and they look like a landscape. On a bigger scale, they all seem to come alive and the team used them to fill this realm. According to the cast, the technology that helped them to really immerse with the set more is stagecraft technology. Now, director Reed had worked with this technology before in the Disney Plus Star Wars series, The Mandalorian. And what that means is that they shot in a setup called The Volume, where the actors have the luxury to somewhat see what the final product will be like. This means that it's far more immersive than acting in front of a blank, lifeless green screen. And by utilizing a combination of real-time rendering and LED screens, Stagecraft creates immersive virtual environments that seamlessly integrate with physical sets and then will later extend that digitally using CGI. This technology allows actors to perform in realistic dynamic settings while interacting with the digital elements. It works on the same principle as how the rear projection works. The backdrop is playing on the giant screen while the actor is acting the scene out in front. The volumes used for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania were larger, with more LED panels with a higher resolution, and according to the writer Jeff Loveless, it's a living green screen, and you can put up the backgrounds and same cool visual effects that you want to show in the final scene. He compared it to something like an old matte painting by David Lean, or even The Wizard of Oz. But there's more. Ever wonder how actors appear younger or older on the screen other than using makeup, prosthetics, and wigs? Well, CGI is the common answer, yeah. But these days, there's an even more advanced technology available. It's called Vanity AI, which is an artificial intelligence-driven tool that performs beauty fixes or digitally renders actors to be younger. The Canadian company behind this technology is called Mars. Wrinkles and under-eye bags? No problem. Receding hairline? Not a problem. This technology is revolutionary. And in this movie, it was used in the character of Cassie Lang, the young daughter of Scott Lang. Although she didn't need such a facelift in the movie, 
they did perform some minor fixes on her. We aren't mad at all because hey, who wouldn't want to look just perfect, right? If it weren't for this AI, this process would have taken a lot longer. Some shots take up to weeks to be done, but with Vanity AI, they performed the fixes on set up to five of the shots a day. Mars also used the disco trail effect to connect the audience to a tiny character in an expansive realm. Cassie's character needing to shrink and grow in the middle of action is an example of this photorealistic effect, and as a result, the character is seen virtually discarding their prior self as she moves on the screen, allowing the audience to keep track of her whereabouts in the realm. Now we know that Quantum World has all sorts of bizarre characters, so they should have their own language too, right? And it's called Kanglish, named after Kang, of course. The Marvel Art Department developed this language to direct the overall design. They even put the language in different UIs seen in the film. So how do you understand the use of a foreign language without understanding the language? Well, thanks to the creative team, we can see that in the scene where Janet is repairing a machine and its user interface has moving fonts that are rearranging as she drags different icons. The team was given the recording of the actor's movements, which they then transformed to visually engaging motion designs that felt both tangible and intuitive. The goal was to present the technology in a way that could be understood by the audience, regardless of their knowledge of the written language, while at the same time maintaining a sense of realism. And finally, as every film ending is important for MCU fans because of that post credit scene, the US-based design and VFX studio Perception enhanced the title sequence itself by incorporating stunning microscopic chemical reactions. It's much like the visuals used to create the environment in the quantum realm, which we previously discussed. Marvel licensed the content from Chris Parks and passed it along to Perception for them to edit and manipulate. But the real question is, what would happen if the PIM technology, that shrinking capability of the main characters in the movie, becomes a reality for our world? Well, for starters, it could revolutionize the medical industry. Almost all current security measures would become obsolete, and no door or no lock would be safe, because if you can shrink to a microscopic size, you can enter every door in every secured place. And the governments will be the first ones to implement this tech. Think about it. They could deploy agents and spies literally anywhere. No permission, no warrant needed. This would call for some serious privacy issues and whatnot. And let's not get into what it would mean if the terrorists were to get their hands on this tech. What was the most amazing part of the movie for you? What would you do with Ant-Man's tech? If you're interested in more movie tech reviews, check out one of our other videos. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more interesting Galore Text videos. Until next time.